Hello everybody, today we'll be discussing about the Polaroid Cube Plus. In fact, what you're watching and hearing now is recorded directly from the Polaroid Cube Plus. What's up everybody? If you're new to my channel, I'm Alexander Tan. As you can see in my hand, today we'll be discussing my thoughts on the Polaroid Cube Plus. Since it's in my hand, of course, what you're seeing now and the audio that you're hearing now is not from the Polaroid Cube Plus. Before I begin, if you're interested to examine the photos taken by the Polaroid Cube Plus in closer depth, I'll provide a link below to a blog post I've written about the Polaroid Cube Plus where you can download photos to examine the photos in closer depth at your own pace. I was looking for a good budget action camera and I thought the Polaroid Cube Plus had a lot to offer. From the reviews out there, I'm convinced that the Polaroid Cube Plus is a good contender for the range of action cameras out there. First, let's look at the sound quality of the Polaroid Cube Plus. You're watching the audio recorded where I'm standing about one feet from the front of the Polaroid Cube Plus. You're watching the audio recorded where I'm standing about one feet from the back of the Polaroid Cube Plus. You're watching the audio recorded where I'm standing directly at the back of the Polaroid Cube Plus. In my opinion, the sound quality recorded by the mic on the Polaroid Cube Plus is of decent quality. Of course, the sound quality is not of the best quality, but it's decent enough to use as a backup just in case you forget to bring your shotgun mic or when your separate audio recording is corrupted. Well, I'll give the audio recorded on the Polaroid Cube Plus a 6.5 out of 10. I use a scale between 0 and 10 to rate all my ratings. A score between 0 and less than 2 is considered as poor. A score between 2 and less than 4 is considered as okay. Anything that is scored between 4 and less than 6 is considered as decent. A good score would be between 6 and less than 8. Anything scored above 8 is considered as brilliant. Next, we'll look at the still images taken by the Polaroid Cube Plus. As you can see, the Polaroid Cube deals with flares quite well. However, the image quality could be better. Looking at the photos, for still images, I'll give the Polaroid Cube Plus a good 7.5 out of 10. Now let's look at the video quality and how the onboard image stabilizer stacks up. As you can see, the Polaroid Cube does quite well in the video department and the image stabilizer is actually quite good. For the video quality and onboard image stabilizer, I'll give the Polaroid Cube a good 8 out of 10. Now let's look at some other features the Polaroid Cube has. First, we'll look at the time lapse, then the slow mo feature. As you can see, both the time-lapse features and the slow-mo features actually does quite well. I'll give this feature a 8 out of 10. Now I'd like to talk about the negative points of the Polaroid Cube Plus. The thing that really annoys me about the Polaroid Cube Plus is the heat sink of the Polaroid Cube Plus, which also acts as the magnetic base of the Polaroid Cube Plus. However, this feature also heats up quite a lot. Therefore, if you are using it handheld, you got to be aware that it may heat up quite a bit. In some occasions, I found it too hot and I need to switch off the Polaroid Cube for a while. Although there are many controversial thoughts about the usage of the magnetic base, I found many usage for it. With this said, the Polaroid Cube Plus is an excellent action camera and the heating issue on the heat sink shouldn't affect your decision when selecting an action camera. My final verdict of the Polaroid Cube is, I'll give it a good 
7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed using the Polaroid Cube Plus and I would recommend it to anyone. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it now. It will give me a lot of encouragement to produce more videos like this. Meanwhile, till we meet in my next video, take care and stay safe.